There's no such thing as a realistic asking price. Well, this is an interesting statement that uh, I saw recently. Um, and the idea behind there's no such thing as a realistic asking price might suggest a simple black and white view of property pricing. It's either right or it's wrong. However, this prospect can oversimplify the complexities involved in setting the real asking price uh, in the local property market. An asking price is more than just a figure. It's a strategic decision influenced by various factors like market conditions, comparable property sales, the property's condition, the seller's expectations, and buyer demand in the market. A realistic asking price typically reflects a balance between what the seller hopes to achieve and what buyers in the current market are willing to pay. If the price is set too high, it might deter potential buyers, resulting in the property sitting unsold for much longer than the seller desires. On the other hand, if it's too low, the property might sell too quickly, but for less than its potential value. In this sense, a realistic asking price is one that aligns well with the market, even if there's some flexibility or negotiation involved. So while an asking price might not seem as correct or incorrect in hindsight, depending on whether it achieves a sale at or near the price, realistic is more about setting a price that is appropriate given the current dynamics and expectations. One of the mistakes many sellers make when uh, coming to set their property pricing to be realistic in the market is looking at properties that offer sale in the market. The problem there is if you look on, you know, take Idealista as an example, all you're seeing is lots of old adverts of properties that haven't sold. Therefore, the pricing is showing that that's the price you're not going to sell at, not the price you will sell at. Therefore, it needs to be a proper strategy in setting your price. If when setting your price, your agent is not showing you comparable evidence of similar properties that have sold, and maybe just using what's left available, you could end up being that property that end, goes on the market overpriced, and in fact, is then just helping realistically priced properties to sell. So, ensure you have a proper marketing price strategy, uh, and this should be backed up with a proper marketing plan that you review on a regular basis where, with your agent when you're selling your property. If you'd like to know more about how to set your property correctly in the current market, don't hesitate to get in touch. Uh, we'd love to go through and explain that in more detail. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, pop them below and I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.